These are randomly generated NHL players and I will be using them to build a team on NHL 24. Before each round, I will ban one of the spots blindly and the other two will be joining the team. After selecting enough players to build a team, I will assemble them on NHL 24 and put them through a one-year franchise simulation with the hopes of winning the impossible Stanley Cup. The first card that I will be sending to the Shadow Realm banished is going to be the left card who did we get rid of ryan hartman we get jared mccann and amadio all right that's not too bad let's flip the script a little tsn turning point and go for the right player so we get to keep a jamie ben a henrique and we lose jeff skinner i don't know when this video is coming out but i have heard rumors that he might get bought out now i was gonna go the card in the middle but instead, I'm going left. We miss out on a mojo. We get Riley Smith and Nason. So far, we don't really have any superstars. But hopefully, that luck changes right now. We're getting rid of the middle card. All right, that's not too bad. Hmm. I'm happy that we got Pavelski. Dakota Joshua would have been sick, but Howell is all right. We do only have two forward rounds left. This draft is going to go by super quick. And for goalies, there's only one round. I get rid of one and take the other two. You know what? Screw it. Get rid of the middle card again. What are we going to get? Oh, that's pretty good. Mmm. Yeah, that's fine. Byfield would have been great to have, but need a rider. And Byfield might be similar overalls, I think. Plus, we get a Jesper Bratt. That sounds pretty good. For the final forward round, I'm going to get rid of the right card. You're not going to we get to keep the first two cards, and that is huge. No! Oh my. I'm pretty sure that J-Rob and McDavid are buddies, which is kind of funny. Michelli and Robertson joining the squadron, and McDavid being sent to the Shadow Realm is devastating. What should I do for the first set of defensemen? I've got it, all right? I've defeated the system. You have a left defender, and you have a right defender. I don't see a center defender. We're getting rid of the middle card. Yes, that is actually how my brain works. Our very first D-man is a Justin Falk. We're losing... No, I don't know. I'm sorry. I mean, it doesn't at all, but this kind of makes up for the McDavid round because we got Falk, we got Lindell. That's pretty good. Call me crazy. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Run it back. We're getting rid of the middle card. Show me the money. We get Gostas Bear. I'm heartbroken. Miro would have been so fire, but alas, it was not meant to be. We get Lilleberg and Ghost. Down for Ghost. He's pretty good. Really good, actually. The right card did me dirty. Get it gone. Next round, we're taking the first two. Drum roll, please. Jacob Chikrin. Those rounds could have gone impeccably well. This is the very last round of the draft. It did fly by. We're going to get rid of the first card. We're going back to our roots. A goalie could make or break this team. Okay, Dustin Wolf banished. Not a part of the team. With that being said, we get Charlie Lindgren and Mackenzie Blackwood as our dynamic duo. The makeup of this team is very interesting. Let's head over to NHL 24 and assemble the squad. We have landed on the virtual game known as National Hockey League 24. The divisions are once again all scrambled because I'm doing a 33-team custom league and the Utah Sundogs, 90 overall, are right here. Actually, just a little tidbit, fun fact for you. Our team was cap compliant, so that was interesting. All right, who's going to tell them? Oh, I have to do it? Okay. Jabroni? No, you will not be touching my lines. This team is destined for a playoff run. Other than the fact that our goalies are 83 and 81 overall. Show me the chemistry. Edit lines, what do we have here? We should have a plus three at least on the first line. Plus five and then two plus ones. Now we are cooking. I can even swap Riley Smith off this line and give the third line a plus two, but I don't know who I want to swap him for. Actually, I'm just gonna leave it. That's fine the way it is. Time to reveal our defense. We have... No red. That's a great sign. Nils Lundqvist was actually a much higher overall than I was expecting. 80 overall, that's great. I could move Lindell up, sacrifice two overall, and get a plus two and then a plus one. But I won't, for now. We'll think about it, though. In net, we've got Charlie Lindgren backed up by Mackenzie Blackwood. That is definitely our weak spot. I also didn't realize during the draft, but we have like four or five Dallas Stars players on this team, so they got finessed. The thing is, I sent these players from their actual team to international as well. So we are the only team with these players. Jason is going to get 95 points. He's going to lead the team. And we're going to get 48 wins on our way to a Stanley Cup. Yeah, poor Dallas. They have been gutted. 5-0 loss in our first game. We suck. 
Just fold the franchise. Getting a little bit worried here, but normally a shaky start turns into something phenomenal. Definitely not always the case, but I am going to remain optimistic. Go Sundogs! 11, 14, and 5. I'm changing the lines up. I'm going the chemistry route. We get a plus 2 and a plus 1 now. I moved Chikrin down. I also moved up Nason to get the plus 2 on the third line. Let's see if that makes a difference. All right, coach of the year. Four game winning streak. Make it five since the line change. Six! We are on a shred here. Wow. What a squad we have. We're definitely starting to look like more of the team I thought we were going to be. But to be honest, we still don't have nearly as many wins at the deadline as I thought we were going to. I'm not even going to look. I'm going to keep going. We're not going to make the playoffs, are we? That would just be the way. Look how... Why is our division so stacked? Yeah, we are definitely not making it. This is absurd. I really am starting to believe that I'm never winning a Stanley Cup on this game. We don't even have to go look at the lines because it's not a fantasy draft. The final is between the Golden Knights and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's see who takes it home. The Stanley Cup champions, Toronto Maple Leafs. Providence Bruins with the Calder. We had 87 points, finished sixth in the division, but I mean, look at this. The fourth place team had 102. In what world? Funny enough, the first two teams in the league tied for points would be Florida and Edmonton. We found ourselves 21st in the entire league, and it actually was the top 16 teams to go, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what was up with that first line, but they just were not producing. Jason Robertson got 71 points. That is beyond unacceptable. Pavelski, 72. Nope. Gotta do better than that. Jared McCann? Make me sick, you will. At least we had one defenseman do pretty decent. He had 58 points, was a dash 11. I know 58 is nothing to get crazy about, but I'm just trying to find any silver lining here. Yeah, there's our problem. I found it. All right, found the leak. 901 save percentage, 304 GAA, Mackenzie Blackwood, 892, 351. You. Jacob Chikrin, minus 22. Get good. Essa Lindell, 22 points. I mean, he was a plus four, but still, what a noob. Stewie Skinner and Igor Shesterkin both had 41 dubs. Save percentage was very close. GAA Stewie was a little bit better. This might be the first time we've ever seen a goalie at the top with no shutouts. The entire year, not a single one. And then you have Ilya Samsonov, eight shutouts. And pretty much the same save percentage and GAA. What on earth? Adam Fox, 112. He might win the Art Ross. Maury had 82 points. Kale Maker, 74. What does the Fox say is not your Art Ross winner? Connor McDusty, 116. 10 points up on Cooch. But Fox had the second most points in the entire league. He's also going to win the Rocket Richard by the looks of it. So again, we have a janitor here cleaning up at the award ceremony. Art Heart Combo. No surprises there. Still no news here. Fox gets the Norris. Totally expected. He also gets the Lady Bang. Cooley with the Calder. That one is interesting. Will Nye the hockey guy gets the Consumite. I just realized I never looked at the playoff stats. So I will go do that after this. Bucky is awarded the Vesna and the William M. Jennings. We get Radko Gudis assigned to the Masterton. Grattan is your Jack Adams winner. Rory with the Selkie, and then McDavid, McDavid. Ilya had a 9-12 save percentage in the playoffs. He did get two shutouts, same as Aiden Hill. He had a 9-14, so the two goalies were pretty even. TJ Brody having the second most points is crazy. And then Eric Carlson and Chris Letang, two peas in a pod right here. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. We have a five-way tie with 26 points. Matthews, Eichel, Marcheseau, Nylander, and Marner. Why did it skip over him? That was weird. But Crosby had 24 points in 17 games. Just give him the con Smythe. There's your playoff tree. The drought continues. I don't know what to tell you. Is this becoming that like falsified definition of insanity? Appreciate you guys as always. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be awesome. If you have draft ideas or video ideas at all using the website or not, comment down below. There's a good chance it will get used because I am running out. I would start to be a pro, but I don't think I can commit to that right now. I assume this will be uploaded on a Saturday. So I hope you have a good weekend and I... We'll see you soon.